I'm Ben Briscoe. The race to represent you in the United States Senate is getting smaller tonight. State Senator Jeff Jackson tweeted out a video dropping out of the Democratic primary and endorsing former North Carolina Chief Justice Sherry Beasley. Sherry Beasley is consistently leading in the polls. She has also served the state honorably for over two decades and has always fought on the side of justice. Pat McCrory and Ted Budd are gearing up to spend millions of dollars attacking each other in order to be the Republican nominee. If we're going to flip this seat, we can't do that. A costly and divisive primary will sink this whole thing. We have to come together right now. The Republican National Committee said Jeff Jackson saw the writing on the wall and knows Democrats will face defeat in 2022. In less than a year, Sherry Beasley will be sent packing too. Now, UNCG political science professor Tom Little says Jackson dropping out, it's really going to help the Democrats with this, a better way to spend their money. After all, with such a tight political balance in the Senate right now, political donors from all over will take an interest, meaning this election is forecast to be one of the most expensive in American history. I would say it's a, a pretty smart strategy for the party, especially um, if the Republican primary continues to be um, as complicated and competitive as it appears to be. If they can say, you know, she can just kind of lay back and let them fight it out. And she's saving her ammunition while they're forming a circular firing squad. According to the latest public polling data, Beasley is down anywhere from two to four percentage points below possible Republican nominees. But we all know a lot can happen between now and Election Day. The one thing political experts know for sure, get ready to see a lot of those attack ads. Absolutely in four nasty campaign season. No, no question about it. Uh, come late summer, every, every time you're on television, there's going to be an ad.